Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and one of the most popular, one of the, the, the best dishes that's associated with Chiang Mai is called Khao Soi, which is a yellow egg noodle dish with a coconut milk curry and meat. And so today we're gonna go on a pretty serious Khao Soi tour. Mostly we're just gonna have fun and eat a lot of Khao Soi, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video. The origins of Khao Soi in Chiang Mai still remains a mystery, but most believe it's a dish originally from Yunnan, China, brought south to Chiang Mai, passing through Myanmar by the Chinese Jinha people. Adapting to Chiang Mai, the common recipes evolved over time, especially with the addition of more spice and coconut milk, which is an ingredient that's not used in northern Thai cuisine. One original Khao Soi restaurant in Chiang Mai claims that when government officials from Bangkok, uh, and Bangkok is in central Thailand where coconut milk is frequent, would visit Chiang Mai, the Khao Soi restaurant owner would add coconut milk to please his guests. That kind of stuck, and now most Khao Soi you'll find in Chiang Mai includes rich coconut milk. The story behind Khao Soi is unique and fascinating, and it remains one of Northern Thailand's most popular dishes. So today we're gonna eat five bowls of Khao Soi in a row, and share with you where to eat the best Khao Soi curry noodles in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The first place that we're at this morning for breakfast is called Khao Soi Islam, and this is one of the long-standing Khao Soi restaurants, and they're also known to serve a very traditional version of Khao Soi. So. Joel, you ready for some serious Khao Soi, man? Ready, and it, <laughs> what's up, man? It smells so good in here. Okay, so this is stop number one. We're still waiting on Tom. Tom should be here soon. And what's amazing about Khao Soi is just how it has been, it, I mean, how it arrived to Thailand, and how it's been influenced by so many different uh, trade routes and spices and coconut milk all coming into one single bowl that now represents Chiang Mai. Um, and she blanches, boils the egg noodles. Uh, then she comes up, binds it with the beef. I ordered beef um, and then combines it with some spices, adds some chili and some spices into the bowl. Uh, but the interesting part is that she has this boiling cauldron of coconut milk, ladles on some coconut milk into your bowl. So it sort of mixes curry in your own individual bowl. And then she tops it with a handful of the crunchy fried noodles as well. I think the first step is actually to try the soup, the, the curry sauce. Mm. It's very, it's very milky, and that the spice blend is light, yet it's kind of like earthy at the same time. I'm gonna squeeze in some lime, and then actually, I'm just gonna dump in my whole packet of. They give you pickled mustard greens every time you eat khao soi, as well as uh, some sliced shallots, and that's just a necessary component of eating khao soi. Maybe I'll just try the noodles first and some of that beef before, before I add more seasoning. The noodles are not like extremely, the noodles are okay, not like amazing. The beef is really good. Now it's time to season, really season. Add some nam pek pao, which is the roasted chili sauce. And this version, I have actually eaten here at Khao Soi Salam before, and their version of nam pek pao is just insanely good. It's like sticky. Okay, here's when things start getting really good in your bowl of Khao Soi. Give this a good stir, mix it with the curry sauce and the noodles, and immediately you can see that, that color. Mm. Mm. With the chili sauce. Mm. That's what takes it to the next mm -hmm. level. You really taste the pungent, like uh, fried, roasted, like blackened, burnt chili aroma to it. What I like uh, that's like unique to this place is how fine the how fine the chili sauce is. It's 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 a very fine crush, whereas some versions are more chunky. It's so good. That makes all the difference. Their chili oil. It's superb. There's nothing better to do on a gloomy, possibly rainy day than go for a noodle tour with friends. There's nothing better. We also could not come to Khao Soi Isalam without trying some of their Khao Mok because their Khao Mok, which is the, the Thai style biryani, they serve an excellent version and we got a plate with goat and it looks so good. I've actually had it before and it is so good. Oh, look at that. It just flakes with the fattiness. Take a oh. yeah. So good. The goat is just, it's as pork tender as possible. What do you think, Tom? Awesome. It's just like perfect balance. Great goatee. Yeah. 
this wasn't really part of the Khao Soi tour. It's, so soft. it's just something you have to order when you eat here. So there was great. no way I was coming here without ordering it. Tom, what did you think about the, the awesome. first bowl? Pretty good. Soy Pretty good. Yeah, liked it. I'm looking forward to taste all the other ones. So at the end, we have to decide. This is going to be very difficult <laughs> already. In my opinion, the curry is, is mild. The noodles are the noodles are okay, but what I really love the most, I think this place excels at their chili chili sauce. That is the ultimate. That just kicks up your bowl. Uh, the beef is also extremely tender and delicious. Okay, so Khao Soi Kun Yai. This is Grandma's Khao Soi. It's, it's in their home property, but right in central Chiang Mai, right next to the temple. Oh, man, I have been to this place before as well. It's always delicious. It's, it's a friendly place. It's a nice open air place as well. Uh, here, what I typically order and the version that we got is called Khao Soi Gai, which is with chicken. Okay, so bowl number two, this is Khao Soi Kun Yai. So you can see how just rich and thick and spicious that, that broth, that curry sauce looks. Just taste the broth, yeah. just to get the, the, the original version of their taste. It is a little bit on the sweet side, but immediately you notice the, the richer like coconut cream as opposed to just coconut milk. Um, and you, you can even see the curdles of the coconut cream. Dump in the, the shallots and the pickled mustard greens. Squeeze in the lime juice. And then add in the chili, of course. Uh, you can see the whole seeds in there. It's not, it's, it's not, it's a coarse grind. And of course, one more just for good measure. It's a good stir. Get everything together. You can see the chunks of chicken in here, the egg noodles down there. And I'll try some of the noodles next. And you can see the crunchy, crispy noodles have all mixed in with the, the regular noodles. I like their noodles here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The noodles are really nice, a little bit crinkly, slightly al dente. But then again, you have the crunchy ones, which gives like yeah, yeah, a, yeah. the nice texture. As you get further down, the coconut cream starts to thicken even more, and then it just sort of clings to your noodles and chicken. That completes. <laughs> Bowl number two. For me, it's a little bit on the sweeter side. It is very rich with coconut milk. I do like the noodles here. Okay, we are moving on to the next kasai. We have arrived to the next place. It's called Kasai Lung Pakit Gat Gom. And this is one of the top recommended khao soi. Many Chiang Mai people have recommended it to me. Uh, we gotta order the beef khao soi here and you can just smell the aroma, the richness. You can see the bubbling, bubbling pots of curry back here. For their version of khao soi, what they do is he already has some of the noodles which are blanched in the back and when you order, uh, then he dishes it, the noodles, egg noodles, into your bowl. Ladles on the beef which is curried in a curry soup and then he goes to a second bubbling pot where the, the coconut milk is and ladles that on top. So that sort of mixes together with the other curry and the beef and the noodles. Um, and then it's topped with a big handful of the crispy noodles as well as some cilantro on top. Definitely the most beautiful bowl of khao soi that I've seen. It's just covered in a layer of red oil. Uh, this just overall just looks, I mean you can already just tell the flavor overdose that it's gonna be. Oh, I got a little red oil drill. Mmm. Oh. oh, it's so meaty. Mm. <laughs> that tastes like liquid meat. <laughs> With like a coconut milk sweetness. You get those little bubbles of, of red oil in there and the noodles. Oh man, actually this bowl is so well flavored already that like, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind trying the noodles before seasoning it. Maybe we should just try some of the, the beef and noodles real fast before we season. <laughs> noodles are quite soft, but very thin as well. Mm -hmm. The beef is melt in your mouth so tender. Sprinkle, whoa, that kind of just chunks off. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll take one more. That naprik pao just sort of just, just it just like clunks together. Mm. Mix that around a little bit for that extra punch. And then I am gonna go ahead and <laughs> add in the pickled mustard greens and the shallots, of course, necessary components. 
just let it all just let it all go and then squeeze in that that lime look at that color yeah the deep red mixing with the noodles pairing with that creamy coconut milk this is like what you'd have a dream of what you want kao soy to be just pure joy oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. I do? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I always get chili on my chin. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I always get a little chili on my chin, a little splashage. <laughs> All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. So much meat in there. Yeah, this, this bowl of kalso is just blowing us all away. This is one of those places of food, one of those bowls of food where you stop talking to your friends and just focus on the bowl of noodles. Yeah, the beef is insane. I just got married, but I'm in love. <laughs> and Tom just like, he went all in. Oh yeah. He killed it, man. Oh, wow, that was just unbelievably good. That is bowl number three complete. So good. Tom, still speechless. <laughs> Joel. Hard to find words. Stepping outside, there's not even a real sign on the outside, or is there? Is there on the outside of the shop? No, no real sign. It's just on the front of the restaurant over here, where you can see the name and the. They have the menu here. That was, yeah, just unbelievably delicious. Oh man, and I am, I am feeling the the sweat, the sweat attack effects of three bowls of back-to-back kalsai. -back we are moving on to the next place. Okay, the next place is called Kaosai Meemani Chai Cup, and it's a little bit north of here, so we have about a it's about a 25 minute drive, so we have a little bit of time to rest. 25 minutes to rest until the next bowl. Oh yeah, she can rest. She can rest. <laughs> I have to drive. As usual, after three bowls of noodles, it's a little tougher to get in the car. It's, somehow it's tighter in here than it was before. <laughs> สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับลุงครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับไม่เคยเห็นหน้าน้องไม่เคยเห็นหน้าน้องไม่เคยเห็นหน้
flavor mm. texture. It's almost like a gravy. It's almost like a beef stew, but with that edge of like uh, of dry spice aroma to it. Okay, we gotta move on. I can't wait mm. for that beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is another bowl where I do want to take another bite before seasoning just because it's so, so richly delicious as it is. Yeah, look at that beef. Oh, <laughs> yep. okay, sure, okay. I'm gonna take a bite of beef. Melted. And some of those noodles. And yeah, you can see the noodles are more, they're thicker, they look more handmade than, than the other versions of noodles that we've had here. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. The beef is unbelievably tender. Mm. But just right off the bat from that first bite, these are some of the best noodles so far today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're al dente. They also, you can mm -hmm. taste that, that they're handmade. I yeah. mean, they're just, it's just like boiled dough. Yeah. Homemade. They're thicker, they're heartier noodles. Mm. Noodles are superb. The beef is just, yeah, it's just strands apart. It's so tender. A little bit of mustard greens go in. Of course, it's always better when your Nampik Pao is served in an Emily Hasip cup. <laughs> an energy drink cup. And this is just another beautifully dark red, rich chili oil. Look at that, the roasted chili, the oil in there. Oh, that's beautiful. No, no more. A nice stir into the broth. Oh yeah, okay, May also said that you should add a little bit of dark soy sauce to this. That's what she recommended for the beef. Is it like more like the ketchup it's, or Yeah, it's quite, it's usually quite sweet and, but it is like a good, it's almost like caramely. Okay, and yeah, immediately you can like smell it, that. Yeah. That molasses, it's molassesy. that's what it is. Immediately you smell that molassesy aroma. Oh, that nugget of beef. <laughs> the beef is, it's really, really superbly good. Tom, you, mm. you leaned out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. Those are some of the best noodles, yeah. Hands down. They're, you can taste the freshness of the noodles. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I really like about this, their, her version of khalsa, is that it's, it's not like, it's not oily. Mm -hmm. Whereas like other versions we've had today have been oily, but that thick, thick layer of oil. Mm. Mm. Oh. And that beef. I thought I took like a giant chunk of beef or wiped my mouth. Um, it just completely collapsed in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. Sprinkle on some shallots on the top here. Add on a half a spoon of chili oil. A little, a little flop, a little flop of chili oil. Yes. Squeeze on some lime. <laughs> that chili oil. Well, that's just a that's a khao soy explosion. We do have some extra shallots, so I may as well use them. If there are shallots on the table, I will finish them. That's, what's your final word? Mm -hmm. um, I really, what I really appreciate is the size of the dish. It's not too big. It's not too small. It has perfect size and. Um, the taste was incredible, so it's really hard to choose and I'm looking forward to dig into the fifth plate of khao soy and then we have the... Make the final comparison. Yeah, we have to make the final decision which one actually is going to be the winner. Joe, what did you think? I'll say stew was so yeah. thick, I could have that over a multitude of different dishes. And also, not only that, but the whole family, the, the family that owns this restaurant, they're so nice and friendly. That's part of the experience as well. Yeah. This was incredibly delicious. Four bowls of khao soy in a row. I'm, I'm definitely starting to feel it a little bit, but I'm still feeling great. And especially after this bowl, man, that's just revitalized me, re-energized me. That was so, so good. Right. It's just a 15 minute drive from the center of Chiang Mai, but it is so worth the effort to come here. We've got one more bowl to finish off this serious ultimate khao soy tour of Chiang Mai today. It has been so good so far. Yeah. Uh, so we're driving right back into the center of town. The spot is like right in the middle of Chiang Mai. Um, and this is gonna be the final, the finale. One more bowl of khao soy. 
Okay, that was actually just about a 10 minute drive to the next place. We're back right in the center of Chiang Mai, not far from the, the old walls of the city. Uh, the final fifth Khao Soi, it's called Khao Soi Me Sai. And this is another big wig of Khao Soi in Chiang Mai, a very well known place. Okay. We ordered khao soi nu, which is the beef version of the khao soi. He has the yellow egg noodles, which are blanched again. Uh, he divvies out, grabs some of the noodles, puts them into your bowl. Then I think he laid on some of the beef, and the beef actually looks really good. It almost looks like more like a brisket cut of beef. Yeah. Um, so that's that's so that's a big difference already. The beef is not curried. The beef is just like cooked separately, boiled maybe, um, and then combined. So then they put in the beef. Then he scoops in the curry sauce, which I believe is already combined with the coconut milk. Because but you do see a little bit of curdled coconut milk. It's a very like yellowy orange color. Um, and then again, the final step, he adds on the, the, the handful of the crispy uh, noodles plus some cilantro on top. Lightest colored bowl of khao soi that we've had. Um, and again, it's just I think it's just one liquid as opposed to multiple liquids, which the other khao soi places added. Mm. It's very creamy. Mm. It's sweet. Just sweet, yeah. It's just sweet, sweet, but it does have like a little spice that goes to the back of your throat at the same time. Time out, guys. We've got a little, got a little calzoi on the lens. I, I am impressed with the slices of beef here, though. They look, they do look amazing. Beef looks good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that briskety, briskety chunk. Mm. Okay. The beef is awesome. Mm -hmm. There's no denial about the beef. The noodles are actually quite good as well. They do taste fresh. Shallots go in. And here the chili again is very chunky, a little bit oily, not as oily as some places. The dry chili is very fragrant here though too. Sprinkle a little bit of this on, a little bit more. Need to get some massage. And then, of course, give it a nice, a nice mix. The chili is excellent. And the chili does balance off the, the broth for me because on a whole, the, the broth itself is just too sweet for me. But with that chili, it does, it does balance that off. That beef. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm loving that. So sticky. Mission accomplished. We finished five bowls of khao soi back to back to back to back to back to back. I think that's five. We're gathering our thoughts right now. We're gonna go to the coffee shop. We're gonna have a cup of coffee as we share with you our final results for the best bowl of khao soi in Chiang Mai. One Anyways. more drink of cheers. cheers. That was a lot of fun. Oh yeah. I didn't know it would be this beneficial to actually have back to back to back Calsoys to really be able to compare and contrast the different calsoys. It's really actually helpful because you it have is. it all right in your brain, you have it all right in your taste, taste buds. buds yeah. You have all five bowls right in your <laughs> stomach at this moment. At the same time. <laughs> That's one of the best things about it. Before we completely go all in, we have to say that all five were yeah. excellent. They were <laughs> yeah. all really, really good calsoys. So this is not this this judge judging, just comparing this Very rating is just it's just for fun. I mean it's just yeah. it really even on a certain day you could prefer a certain version yep. of Khao Soi. That's, that's just the yep. way it is. This is a tough choice though. <laughs> Tom, Joel, uh, you ready? <laughs> if I was paying for my own bowl of noodles, I'd go to number three for sure. But if I was taking a friend, I think I would go to number four. Khao Soi Mamani. It was just such an awesome experience overall and an awesome bowl of noodles for sure. So you choose, what is your yeah. choice? Khao Soi Mamani. For me, the best bowl of Khao Soi today it was also Me Mani in Merim. That overall, it was just the best package. It was it was thick and creamy. It had a perfect spice blend. The thick coconut cream. The aunties and the owners are so friendly and nice. It feels like you're going to home. You're going to someone's home to eat it. That being said, Lung Prakit Kakam was like it was like 
<laughs> millimeters from from yeah. like Miamani. Like yeah. they're really like both at the top. Really tough choice. Um, as already said, all five uh, Kao Soy restaurants were outstandingly good, and it's very, very difficult to choose one. Uh, as Joe already said, um, for, for the value of the, of the money that you have to pay, I think number three would be perfect. If I would go by myself, it would have to pay out of my own pocket. Uh, the bowl of Kao Soy was just huge, and the amount of meat in there was also enormous. But um, number four, that was just yeah. perfect. It was, as Mark already said, it's just like very familiar. Um, you know, auntie took care of everything. Even like the way the chart was cut, everything was just so much love, so much, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So number four, uh, the broth was perfect. The noodles were perfect. Everything was just like, awesome. And that ends this best of Khao Soi tour of Chiang Mai. So. I want to say a huge thank you to Tom and Joel for joining me on this tour. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. It was a lot of that fun. That was just so much fun. <laughs> um, I'll have their links in the description box below. Tom, by the way, is starting a tea shop in Chiang Mai, which we'll have below as well as soon as he opens it. That brings us to the end of this cosplay tour. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you've been to Chiang Mai, if you've tried cosplay, leave us yeah. a comment. We'd love to hear what is your favorite cosplay as well. Thanks again for watching. And also subscribe and click that little bell icon. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Chiang Mai. I like memory. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, bye. Ha <laughs> ha